Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglis Guitar Show. It's time for our weekly Gibson Demo Shop recap. This week we had some good players grade guitars. Nothing too incredibly fancy, but there are a few of them that stood out. Here's the top five, starting with this SG standard. So these things, I believe they're $14.99 brand new, if this is one of the original collection ones anyways. But what made this one stand out is the mahogany body just has some pretty darn nice figuring in it. Now to call this rare, no, it's not, but not all of them will be as heavily figured as this. Usually most SGs will have at least a little bit of some dancing figuring within it, but this one just kind of stood out as a little bit better than the rest. If you want to see something like this, check out my Trade Tuesday series. I believe that was a 2018 SG that had some very nice figuring just like this. However, this one's a full-on standard with the trapezoid inlays, 68 bat wing style pick guard. It's a pretty nice guitar. And yes, indeed, this is one of the new ones. So not only are you getting a very nice looking body, it just has some very minimal blemishes and you're saving 300 bucks. Next up was this Les Paul Traditional T, so this is an older guitar since it's a traditional, for $2,099. The reason I wanted to share this one is, okay, they put a TP6 tailpiece on it. A lot of people don't realize the TP6 tailpiece is still in production. You can buy it on Gibson's website if it's ever in stock. But this is something that was first introduced in the late 70s. That allows you to fine tune your guitar, but for me, it's all just about the looks. So this kind of has an interesting 70s aesthetic. They've got a chrome pickup ring here with a black bobbined pickup, but then up here they've got the opposite, a black pickup ring with a chrome covered pickup. It's like, uh, okay, I can appreciate that and all that matches with this. And then they have the reflector knobs on here. So it's just kind of an all chromed out guitar. Maybe not my favorite in the world, but it, it's kind of cool. We're sharing. And then the studio, they decided to give it purple pickup rings. That looks great with this black finish. And the white knobs are definitely an accent piece to this. Halloween's coming up sooner than you'd think, so if you want a spooky guitar for your Halloween gig, you better be getting on it soon. But what's nice about these HP series is this is one of the ones that has like the access heel join. So you don't have the normal blocky heel join right here but you do have the wider titanium nut if you're into that. And then for whatever reason, this Les Paul Classic just stood out to me because they put a covered pickup in the bridge. This reminds me of a signature guitar. I just can't put my finger on which. It might be the Red Rocker Les Paul that I've reviewed, but it doesn't have a setup like this, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of interesting at $300 off. But it looks like we only have about 12 or 13 left from this week. All the rest of these are just leftovers. Yeah, these poor things. They're still sitting in the demo shop almost a month now. I can't believe it. 25 days. I'm surprised. But the last one from the currently offered ones, another one that they just played around with plastic. So this one, it's got like silver pickup rings, but with the gold hardware and then they mix matched it like the rose gold attributes. So we've got the golden studs on each of these, but then the bridge and tailpiece itself is chrome. It works with the silver pickup rings with the golden pickup covers, and then they kind of match that with the knobs. But then they went as far as doing it on the tuners. They also gave it a brass truss rod cover, nice touch. And they went with a chrome back plate with a brass one back here too. So they went full out rose gold treatment despite not being the uh, rose gold color. But now you're probably curious about the ones that you missed out on. The best deal of the week was this guy right here. Had I had been here in time, I probably would have bought this. $18.99 is $100 off brand new for a Les Paul Classic. And the fact that you got a custom limited edition finish on top of that, that was just a steal. I'm wondering if Gibson got a little bit too aggressive with their pricing and they're starting to dial it back a bit. Either that or the condition of this one just wasn't good enough. Because when I interviewed the guy who runs this whole shop, apparently the price actually comes down to the guys in the lineup. They look at the final condition, and if they think it's only a good, that devalues it by X amount. If they think it's very good, it gets priced a little bit higher. So it's kind of like a team effort as to where these things get priced. You guys remember that old like Intimidator Firebird? Apparently he was very upset when that one got posted as cheap as it did. You can actually find that one on Reverb yet today. But that thing, I believe it's changed hands a couple of times. So this one, great deal on kind of like a copper brown metallic. I bet this would have looked pretty darn cool in person. But what made this even more interesting is the back is cherry. Like, I wouldn't normally think, yeah, let's order a guitar that's brown on top and have a cherry back. But 
Due to the kind of sparkle metallic nature, it kind of has some red in it. I think it would work in person, but that was just a great deal for someone at $18.99. The next best one was this. Potentially a prototype color, this is a Lemon Burst 60s Les Paul Standard. Okay, never mind. I was just going to Sweetwater to tell you guys, normally you can't find Lemon Burst. No, apparently it's a brand new Sweetwater exclusive. I had somebody in the comments section in one of my last videos saying that they wish Gibson would list the dealer exclusives because sometimes it's just hard to know about these things unless you're looking at all the dealer's websites. So this guy, they are asking a premium for this finish, a $200 premium. So technically, this was still a discount, but this Lemon Burst looks awesome. Whereas this stock photo is kind of meh. Maybe it's because the plastics have all been changed to black that this really yellow burst stands out and then you get a little bit more pale. Or what you normally find on these is this is a rejected prototype. We saw that on the Chicago Music Exchange SGs when they were trying a new color. Like it just didn't meet Sweetwater's expectations of what they wanted to offer on their own limited edition finish. So they denied that one, did a few changes. I mean, prototypes, that's what they are. Honestly, this one looks pretty sloppy. They got the finish all over the binding. Needs a little bit more of a, a shaven down job right there. There's a couple of nicks and dings, but that could have happened when they were just uh, modifying this guitar at the same time. But I thought that looked pretty darn smart. And at $24.99, technically, it was a discount. For me, it's all about that top. And the fretboard's nice and dark too. I can tell once you condition that, that would be very, very dark. That was a cool guitar. Whoever got that, congrats. But before we talk about some more cool guitars, I want to just show you one that caught me completely off guard. I had somebody send me an email about this one. They thought it looked a little bit different from the rest, so I went ahead and took a look at it, and I, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I mean, it looks like it's the same color, the nut width is the same, everything's looking alright on this one to me. But as I was scrolling through the photos, whoa, what happened to this thing? I want to know. Can the Plec machine mess up and, you know, destroy the binding? I know the machine goes across the fret tops and just kind of crowns them into what they need to be, takes some stuff off. But is it possible that it goes too far and then goes down and then kind of like shaves away some of the binding? That's the only thing I could think of because I know there is some human error in creating a handcrafted guitar, but there's not that much of an error. I mean, is the binding seriously that badly chewed up or is it just in the finish? I would love to know what caused that because that is the worst case of damaged fretboard binding that I have ever seen on a guitar. But hey, at least they're disclosing it. It's on the side of the neck that you don't necessarily see. But these things, I believe they're $14.99, so you got a $400 discount. So somebody decided they could live with those blemishes. But that one just kind of made me chuckle. There was another good deal on an Explorer. There were a bunch of custom shop Les Paul Customs. That was a fantastic deal on a Silver Burst given the market. They even had an Ebony one at only $36.99 and a straight up white at $4,000. Kind of a cool 64 style SG and even a Chrome hardware Les Paul Custom. But the last one we'll talk about today is this. It is a regular 50s Les Paul standard, so you're saving $400 on this, but they swapped everything over to black plastics. But it gets a custom pick guard. Now, I think I might have talked about one of these before. I just like them. They're pretty cool. They even went as far as giving it the black tuner tips. But that's going to conclude our Gibson Demo Shop recap this week. We haven't really seen anything too crazy out of this place. Hopefully they start stepping their game back up because I really hope these two aren't making them go, is it really worth our time to put the new finishes on these things? Because at the end of the day, I just don't think these were the right colors for people. But I want to see some more unique colors and finishes coming from these guys because that's what makes the demo shop fun because you never know what you'll find every week. All right, troglodytes, thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. Hey, I'm on TikTok now. You can follow me at Troglies. I post short videos about guitars over there. Yeah, apparently that channel bound neck doesn't show up too often. What is this one? Oh, wow. I do like that now that I've seen it in person. I was expecting this to be like just a straight up sparkle silver.